right now. It is Panana de Rosetta. Rosetta. That's mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. That was, mm -hmm. oh my God. We went there every day. We stayed there for a week. We went there every day for a coffee and a pastry. It was so good. Almonds. Healthy. I love it. What's my favorite coffee shop there? I'm like, do I even have my phone on me? Nope. It's not on me as I usually do for workshops. But oh, Love it. Got so many. Yes. We will start at the hour. Grab a snack. Grab some water. Grab a pen. Um, we're going to get into it. Let me see here. Oh, I see what happened here. Oh, I love your, your lip gloss. Thank you. Thank you. Last me. Trying to find our workshop slide deck that, okay, here we go. Got lost in the sauce for a second there. Awesome. There you go. Almonds, yeah. I just had a uh, peanut butter and marmalade sandwich for lunch. Oh, Coffee is so good. it was really delicious. <laughs> I don't have gel other jelly. I was like, this will do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's four more minutes. We'll probably wait till we'll start on the hour. If we see a bunch of folks coming in, just like yesterday, we will be waiting just a tiny bit. But how is everybody's whip so far? Who here is a first timer in Woman in Product? Who here has had multiple years attending? This is our second year here and second year presenting both days back to back. So we're really excited. We love this community. Yay, first timer. Yes, it's it amazing, right? I I know Hopin had some issues earlier today, but I do love the energy this conference online is able to bring. Yeah. Mm -mm. I love it, first timers. Yes. Yes. I also just love going to a conference in my sweats mm -hmm. at nine o'clock in the morning. I love it. I used to be in events and I would have to wake up at like 5 a.m., get everything ready, pack up everything. Yeah. So accessible. Me too. We get through a two-day virtual conference with no tick hiccups. It would have been a miracle. Amen. Yep. I don't know what happened last year, but I don't remember any tech hiccups, which was really nice. Yeah. Hmm. Things not going wrong. Good joke. Yeah. <laughs> Expect things to break. Oh, it's, uh, few more minutes. Welcome, new people. Welcome. Let us know where you're calling in from. Today, we're talking about what we're snacking on. Let us know what you're snacking on. Also, a reminder, grab your water. we got to stay hydrated. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. First timer, recently started a new role in a new ish industry and country, naturally facing a lot of challenges, mostly imposter syndrome. So seeing being part of this community is super empowering. Yes, I love that. Welcome. Mm -hmm. Celebrating you putting yourself out there. I know you're not alone. Who else here yep. is challenged by imposter syndrome symptoms? Um, I know we'll talk a lot about it, but we do yeah. coaching a lot for women of color and technology and leaders and, you know, these systems were not built for us with us in mind, women, BIPOC folks, other marginalized communities. And how can we be imposters in a system that didn't design us to succeed the way that we're doing right now? So I am here for that and we'll be talking through some of that today. So thank you for sharing that. This is a really amazing community to support you and uplift you in all of this. Ooh, yeah. What are you eating for lunch? 
<laughs> we got Toronto, Venice, oh, hey, and Malaysia in the house. Oof. Thank you for joining our workshop. <laughs> I will make sure to wake you up. Let's go. So we are at the hour. Let's just wait about one more minute to have folks come through. Hey, Sinyi. Sinyi is one of our clients today in our Real You Leadership Group coaching program. So glad you're here. I hope you're making lots of friends in product. Mm -mm. Bananas and clementines. Yes. Okay, we see the numbers trickling in. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. We are so happy to have you and share space. And let us know if you joined our workshop yesterday on navigating the feedback loop and advocating for yourself in your next performance review. And because a few folks messaged me saying, I'm coming today to this one since they go really well together. Yes, round two. Thank you. And you took up so much space in yesterday's session. So really appreciate that. Please ask all the questions you have. Um, happy to answer them today. Okay, so let's get this party started. If you see me looking to the left, that's because I'm trying to look at the chat, see if there's anything here. Claire will be managing the chat. Any Q&A in the tab the Q&A tab, feel free to ask any questions there. Claire can answer them by text reply to you right away if it feels like she can, if it's best for the Q&A later. We might invite you to join us on the stage. Yesterday, um, we went an extra 40, 50 minutes in the Q&A and coaching session. I got time today if that happens to be today, but we had over 20 amazing questions and we weren't able to get to all of them even with that additional 40 minutes. So I'm gonna go through this workshop because I want you to absorb and get this content, but don't hesitate to ask questions here along the way. Um, and you're able to mark them as anonymous at any point. And please, if you like this, fill out the survey in the survey tab for this session. Would love that. and. Right now, you are attending day two. This is our second workshop today. If you didn't catch the first one, I know Women in Product will be putting out the recordings eventually. So would love for you to catch what we had for nailing your next performance review and really showing up authentically and building empowering relationships to get the advice you need to elevate your career and advance in your leadership. And now paired with that is build your brand village, empowering mentors, sponsors, and advocates who are down for you and ready to uplift your personal brand. So getting to it, if you don't know me, I am Nadia Deala. My pronouns are she, her. I'm located currently in Ohlone Homeland, colonially known as Oakland, California in the Bay Area. And I'm the founder of Real You Leadership. I was an ex-techie turned coach, consultant, and speaker. And I was previously in tech sales enterprise for booking.com and the first account manager of HelloSign and a senior account manager of HelloSign now acquired by Dropbox and Dropbox Sign. And I help build the sales team and workflows with my VP of sales. And I like to also name that I'm a 411 shorty Panay. So even as a leadership and negotiation coach, where we've coached over 200 plus BIPOC women and femmes and trained thousands of more in workshops like you're attending here, I, in tech sales and even currently today, have negotiated with six foot something white male CEOs, CTOs, who have called me honey, sweetie, even once I was called Minnie Mouse on a phone call. <laughs> and so I can't help but say how our intersecting identities really show us how we navigate the world and how people perceive us, the biases we'll face. And that is what we bring in our workshops like today. It can be very hard to overcome certain mentalities or internal barriers or external barriers that are set against women of color, API women like myself. It is Asian American Pacific Islander Native Hawaiian month, right? So I want to shout out that this is something where even our body is part of our identities. And if you are especially in a Zoom room with your team or hybrid role or going in person at all, that changes our dynamics and how we ask 
for people to support us in our brand village. And I'm an equity loving boundary setting provocateur, um, which is really hard as the proud daughter of immigrants where I wasn't allowed to have boundaries growing up. That was non-existent. I wasn't allowed to advocate or say this wasn't okay. So I know that this is what a lot of folks who gravitate towards our workshops want to learn. How do I set boundaries? How do I set expectations with the people that I work with and the community I build in my career? So a little bit about Claire. Hey, everyone. My name is Claire Lumbang, pronounced she, her. I am also a leadership coach. I am our client success manager for our group coaching program. Shout out. Our cohort is starting in June. Um, I am also a former corporate sales queen, so I have been told that I am too nice. I have been told that I am too direct. I have been told so many conflicting things and gotten bad feedback. So we're here to talk about how to get the mentors and the sponsors that you need to upskill, to elevate in your career um, and sharing our lessons. Um, also a Filipino food entrepreneur, if you're in the Bay Area, I am slanging Filipino food on the weekends with my pop-up called Lika, also creating food content out there. So any content creators, hey, I see you. And again, I am your chat support. So I will be hyping you up in the chat. I will also be managing and uh, moderating the Q&A. So if you have questions in there and that I can answer during the presentation, I will. I might have some follow-ups. Um, and then if I feel like it's going to be, um, if I feel like it's better to save for the end, we'll save it for the end. So stick around. Yes. Um, yes, yes, yes to all of this. So much amazingness in the chat already. Keep it coming, y'all. Be active in the chat, support each other, connect with each other, network with each other. And a little bit more about Real You Leadership before we get into our core content. Our mission is to close the intersectional leadership and wage gap by elevating Black, Indigenous, people of color, women, and other historically marginalized leaders. And how we do what we do, we have group coaching programs that we run ourselves. Our next one is a cohort starting June 2023, so next month. And you can start enrolling today. It's called Activate Your Voice, and it really is about learning what your leadership voice is and daring to take up space no matter what room you're in as your real self, no matter who is in the room. And Claire will share our link tree. It's also in our profiles. You could go to realyouleadership.com for that, as well as information on our management trainings. We take this training everywhere. So other organizations have brought us in to share this with their team members, their ERG leaders, et cetera. And we've also done custom in-house leadership programs that we could take, including our Activate Your Voice cohort to your company for a sponsored cohort. So we support diverse, high-impact leaders and partners just like you. And if you're staying here today, you're agreeing to all of this. We want you to take space and make space. We want you to have a beginner's mind and expert's practice. Think about Okay, I, I do have some sponsors, maybe. I do have some mentors. What's 1% more I could be doing with them, asking them, advocating for? What's 1% more for abundance in my brand village that I could cultivate and bring forth? Or what's 1% more I can do as a mentor or a sponsor for others and advocate for others? And we want you to expect and embrace non-closure. I want you to have so many more questions for yourself than what you started with. Like, okay, when am I going to implement all of this? When am I going to do this? How am I going to do this? And in our link tree, we'll also have a resource that you could sign up for and download that accompanies this workshop for building your brand village that has journal prompts, deeper inquiries, a lot of the scripts and suggestions that we share here today will all be laid out there. So don't forget to download that. And also, you're agreeing if you're staying here to Vegas rules, take the lesson, not the story. So many incredible women in product shared their story in the Q&A and coaching session yesterday that ended up going again over 40 minutes past our 50 minute mark here. And we really appreciate that you take care of confidentiality as people do have very real, very personal situations that they bring up, even when it comes to building their brand village. So a few receipts of what we do and how this type of work, like calling in the right 
sponsors, the right mentors for you to uplift you in your career journey. Jen Jenny Lewis, a senior scientist, was able to get a 10K raise in total, even if she was told no, you have to wait almost a whole year later. But she kept advocating for herself, getting more visibility, asking for more opportunities, and even established boundaries with her families and managers at work, and still got a 10K raise one month later after HR, her director, and skip level all said no. But because she kept advocating and saying, you need to help me make sure I get my maximum pay increase when the pay cycle happens next year, they realized, wow, she's so valuable. We're going to give it to her today and make an exception. So know that negotiations start at no. And Natalie, a technical program manager at Disney, was able to increase her pay by 31.8% get a promotion and set badass boundaries. And she said the money is great and all, but it wasn't the best thing that came out of this. She was hungry for change and was able to build stronger relationships with her coworkers and really got self-confidence growth out of all of this, trusted her intuition and instincts and is so much better at being the real her. Yes, go us, go us. And a senior technical instructional program designer, Angel Anchetta, got 20K increase in compensation and a double promotion, technically a third lateral move as well in six yeah. months. And said so she's so proud of making this investment in herself. And instead of fearing the no, now she's thinking with curiosity, which is what we want you to have as you approach new people to support you what's possible here to find limitless inspiration and empowerment from that. So what we'll cover is your the BIPOC woman and historically marginalized professional experience and mentor versus sponsor, how to actually build your brand village, designing these successful relationships. And we'll have a little tiny, it's not going to be the full part, but a little tiny piece on your role as a mentor, sponsor, and advocate before our Q&A and coaching. One thing I want you to know is if you are in positional power to also be a mentor and a sponsor and an advocate today, no matter where you are in your organization, no matter what level you are in your career, please think about, okay, how can I make this easier? Because a lot of this workshop is geared towards people advocating for themselves. And you as a mentor, sponsor, and advocate can make it very clear, I'm ready to help you and I can help you with all of this. So think about the, you know, the other side of the coin. And here's why this is so important. Mentorship and executive sponsorship is critical for BIPOC women and historically marginalized people to advance and reach their full potential. This is a headline from 2021 that's still very relevant today. A record 41 women are Fortune 500 CEOs, and for the first time, two Black women made the list. It hasn't gotten much better, y'all. And in 2022, the McKinseyLeanIn.org report said that women of color, lesbian and bisexual women, and women with disabilities are having distinct and by and large worse experiences than women overall. Black women and women with disabilities face more barriers to advancement, get less support from managers, and receive less sponsorship than other groups of women. And it also says they're also less happy at work and more likely to leave the company than other women are. So we are experiencing in our companies losing so many great, talented, brilliant leaders of all these different diverse backgrounds that do deserve to be there, that we want there really advocating for our tech to be more equitable and inclusive. This goes beyond ourselves. We want you to stay opted in. People like Claire and myself, just to share a little bit about ourselves, we opted out of tech for all of the challenges listed in here and in here. This is typically what many of us are advocating for to bypass, to let go of, to get rid of. This is part of our daily lived experiences oftentimes where we're navigating all of this on, on top of our product jobs, on top of our tech roles. And nuance really matters. Think about your intersecting identities and how they inform how you advocate for yourself, how you take the lead, how you speak up, or how you don't, and how you navigate certain relationships and power dynamics. I know that a lot of our clients 
get really scared specifically to ask for sponsors because it feels like it can be too much because they are taught to never ask for more because they're taught to not rock the boat or to really not stand out in any way, even in good ways. So think about how your identities inform you. I know you can pull your superpowers from your upbringing and your background and let go of the things that do not serve you. So some of our communities also don't have access to resources, education, network, and opportunities to grow and elevate their careers. Some of us were taught those limiting beliefs I just shared like this, and to be humble, that humble is a virtue, to wait your turn, to not ask for more, and to advocate for yourself is something you should be ashamed of. So let those go in this workshop if any of those come up for you in your career today and how this can show up in your professional life it could show up in people pleasing perfectionism someone already mentioned so courageously and vulnerably in the start of our session before we even started i'm here in women in product because i have imposter syndrome and this community really helps me and scarcity staying in your comfort zones not leaving the status quo, even if you might be unfulfilled, unsatisfied, stagnant. And you might also be experiencing burnout and unfulfillment because of all of this. I'm here to tell you, you are worthy of having the support you deserve, resources and community necessary to advance in your career and thrive. There is nothing more, nothing less you need to do to be worthy of that today, period. And I'm here to share with you, with Claire, we're here to share with you ways you can start getting that support and asking for it because that is what we can control. So it takes a village, y'all, to succeed as a professional. Have you gotten anywhere in your career alone? <laughs> right? I have not. I truly believe even our company, even our business, Real You Leadership for our individual coaching clients, for the companies that bring us into their work communities, someone spoke our name, spoke our brand, spoke my name, my brand, whatever it is, or the collective brand of our team into a room we were not in into a room we did not have access to. That is how it's been for the past six, seven years. I have been running this business and I know that so many of you have this in your career as well. We are community made, not self-made. And what you want to ask yourself is, who can help me in my career? Not how can I do this by myself? Because you don't have to grow in your career alone. And I ask you again, if you are ever in a position to pay it forward and lift as you grow, think about how you can do this on the other side of the coin as well. So what we want you to do is connect with your village guides, aka other people call it your council. I actually call it my council too, of <laughs> supportive allies and advocates. Whenever I have an issue or challenge, even in business today, I go, let me call upon the council, you know, <laughs> and I just start texting, I start voice memoing people, I start emailing people in my council of advocates and allies and mentors, some of them even peer mentors, and still some sponsors today, whoops, slippery fingers, and other people call them personal board of advisors or collective of mentors and sponsors. You get to choose what you want to label these folks, but the point is, do you have a specific set of people that you know are your advocates, your allies, your mentors and sponsors, even cheerleaders and champions that, you know what, I just need some cheerleading today. I just need to be hyped up today, <laughs> right? Let me hit them up. So we want you to be very intentional about this village of guides for you and how they support you is you get to share what your needs are how you are navigating things and what questions you have. And they are meant to share how they lived it, how they go through it successfully, coach you on how to navigate your career challenges and goals. They help you identify your development and skill gaps. You need to advance and help you bridge that gap and open doors and clear paths for you. How to choose your village guides. Ask yourself these three questions, and this will be in the guide as well. Who has a seat at the table you want to be in? 
Who has the role, expertise, and experience you want to have? Who embodies the type of leadership you want to model? So mentor versus sponsor. Here's a list. A mentor advises. A sponsor will advocate for you. A mentor supports. A sponsor will steer and guide you. A mentor speaks with you. A sponsor speaks about you. Now, a sponsor can also be a mentor. But a mentor who doesn't do any of these other things for you and speaks your name in rooms you're not in or taps you on the shoulder and says, this is the person that needs to ascend into this role or take on this stretch project, et cetera, then, you know, it's not the other way around. So your village mentors and sponsors both do require care, energy, and time, thrive with clear communication, intention, and aligned actions and need reciprocity because it really is a two-way street. So I'd like to pause here and say, you know, Claire, if anything's in the chat, that's interesting. I've kind of been seeing in my peripherals <laughs> some, some things coming through, but also who here has both? Who here wants mm. more of both? Which one are you really craving or needing to fill the gap for? Just so we get a temperature check on where are you at in this? Yeah. Yes, I want sponsors with an exclamation point. Yes. Difficulty reaching out for sponsors, loving this section to know what a sponsor does. Yes. Definitely needing more of both. I have one good true sponsor mentor, but want more diversity. Yes, diversify. Yeah. Something that came up yesterday, especially for someone who took up space in the Q&A and coaching in our session yesterday said, um, you know, her difficult manager that is not really helping them get that next level role, not really giving them clear guidance. And we said, diversify your sponsors, diversify your mentors outside of your direct manager, even go skip level, right? So I think that's really great. Find it harder to ask for sponsors, sponsor mentor. Mm -hmm. well, mm, craving both, looking to transition from startup to big tech with love a mentor and sponsor who's where I want to go. Exactly. Great, great thinking. So y'all think about who wants the same things. Maybe if you are here, that could be one of these for somebody asking today, reach out to each other um, and working on getting virtual coaching. Yes. So, hey, we are coaches. <laughs> Shameless plug. Um, always near here the mentor sponsors are two-way street, but I have a hard time understanding what I offer them. Great. We'll talk about that. Awesome. Thank you, everybody. We're all in great shape. Wherever you are in your journey, think about what's 1% more I can do for myself. What's 1% more I can do to call in, to give, to receive. <laughs> so your village mentors can be internal and external from your company. It doesn't have to be in your existing company. And they are subject matter experts who can share past and present lessons with you, work alongside you to upskill and bridge those knowledge gaps you identify. And a great mentor will always reflect your strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. And get a, yeah, so when I mean by threats, I want to expand on that, that, hey, this is what you should be looking out for. This is what you should be careful of when you navigate this current situation. And they give you tailored advice unique to your journey. Coaches you to make empowered choices for yourself and nurtures your confidence and self-trust to do the work. Your village sponsors, on the other hand, are inter internal, senior, and skip level and could even be external. We had a client recently get a promoted role to a cybersecurity lead and a 20K or over, yeah, 20K, over 20K in total compensation increase. Oh, 30K, 30K. 30K? What'd you say? Cybersecurity? Yeah. 30K? Yeah. 30K. Okay, 30K. Yeah. Even more, even more about us. Yeah. <laughs> um, it was a 30K-ish in total compensation increase by her sponsor in her previous company saying, I want you to come with me to this company now, right? So they can be external and have positional power or decision-making power. And they have access to resources, network, and future opportunities that mentors might not have. And they understand company leadership, operations, and politics. So when I was in textile, 
I recognized that most of my p p mentors were peer mentors in lateral roles that did not have that positional power or de decision making power. And it actually held me back that I kept getting all my best advice, which was still good advice from people who had no ability to also speak my name into rooms that would actually make a difference in my career. And when I started advocating with my VP of sales to actually pay attention to me as well as the VP of customer success and the um, senior product manager that I worked with in cross-functional projects a lot that they actually helped me ascend in my career, get my next promotion, get over a 20% increase in pay. So recognize between any of your mentors currently who might be a sponsor too. And if I don't have that right now, how can I make moves to diversify that soon? And a great sponsor will teach you how to navigate that political landscape of y'all know there are so many unwritten rules in our jobs that is not in a playbook that we receive of this is how you go through the politics. This is how you go through hierarchy standards and bureaucracy and how power dynamics work in this organization because it will be a different flavor of power dynamics and things to navigate and political landscape in every single team, every single org, every single company. And a great sponsor will also remove those obstacles and blocks for you and clear a path. When we work with people managers, directors, and executives, we constantly remind them that it is your job to clear the way for your team to be safe, to be well, and to be able to have space to do their jobs. And they also nominate you for growth projects, promotions, and opportunities, and represent your brand and advocate for you in rooms you're not in. So how to really build this brand village that we keep speaking about of aligned mentors and sponsors? Your part to connect with them. Know your personal brand and share it confidently. This is something we teach all our clients. We have this in our Activate Your Voice cohort, a specific model on really owning who am I? Who am I even without my job? Who am I without this role? Who am I outside of this company? Who am I as a leader? Know how to articulate that alongside your goals and be open, candid, and hella real with your potential sponsors and mentors or existing ones. Research your goals in mind and look for research with your goals in mind and look for alignment and just ask. So we'll break these down. When you know your personal brand and share it confidently, ask yourself this again. Who are you? What do you stand for in this life? What do you want for yourself today and in the future? What do you want people to say about your leadership and work, even when you're not around? These are great ways you can start exploring that if you haven't already, if you already know the brand you emit and broadcast out there, then ask yourself, how can I add a little bit more of myself into this? And number two, articulate your goals, be open, candid, and real. Ask yourself this an answer before you reach out to these people. What are my needs? What are your needs? Do you need upskills? Do you want straight up shadowing time with them or access to their network, to their resources, to their wisdom? What are your expectations of this person and relationship? What activations, challenges, and fears are you struggling with? So I want to focus and expand a little bit on this third point. This isn't just about the hard skills. This is also about what it takes to be a leader in mental endurance. Do you have fears and challenges? Will you be willing to be honest about imposter syndrome, people pleasing, perfectionism, getting in your way, fear of layoffs are very real right now, where a lot of our clients are trying to overcome this fear of standing out too much because they're scared of being targeted for the next layoff, right? Will you be willing to name those things with your mentor and sponsor so that they can actually help you navigate things and meet you where you're at today? Number three, and I'm seeing a lot of people saying, oh, I got work to do for these points. I love that. I'm so glad you have a lot of more things to ask yourself to do for yourself. And that's awesome. It's a journey. 
focus on incremental steps. So research with who you are and your goals in mind. Ask yourself some of these. Who knows these up skills or does what you want to do? Someone mentioned, I want to work at a bigger tech company now. I'm tired of these smaller companies. Great. So they said, I want a mentor or sponsor who's in one of these. Awesome. Find them. What do you admire personally and professionally about them? So some of this should, you should do some research. Re requires some digging here. And what alignment do you see in energy, in communication, and values? And we want you to know their work, reputation, network. And maybe you might even see, you might even already notice, hey, these are their other mentees or patrons. So let me reach out to them and see how have you liked them being your mentor? Who might already have interest in your brand is another question. Leaders who have spoken well about your work, that's a good signal. So this is for you to really think about, all right, let me check my Rolodex, my memory. Who has always been kind to me? Who has always complimented and affirmed me? Who has always noticed me, even said hey to me more than the other leaders have? How can I warm them up? How can I deepen the connection today? So senior skip levels, nurture that relationship to show that you actually care. And just stay ready. We said that even in the last workshop for other things around your performance review prep. If you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. Start building bridges even when you don't need anything just because deep in connection. So next is to flex your creativity, resource, resourcefulness, and your network. Think beyond your direct manager. Expand into other teams, cross-functional leaders and industries. Ask people in your network for referrals and intros. Connect with three to four people you admire for simply informational chats. And sign up for stretch projects. Do great work and speak for your work. These stretch projects will help you have access to different communities, perhaps, different individuals, stakeholders, and make sure you're advocating for yourself every step of the way, saying, this is what I'm learning. This is what I'm achieving in this type of additional stretch project. And I know, y'all, we coach BIPOC women and femmes in our individual coaching cohorts. We also coach majority power people managers, executives, et cetera. And when I showed those stats on the lack of representation in those potential executive roles, sponsorship roles, I know that representation matters. And until we get those numbers up, you might be like me where I was the only. I was the only woman and woman of color and person of color in my sales team for quite a while. And in my organization, it wasn't very diverse in the leadership sector. So it's natural to want someone who understands the complexities and nuances that you navigate based on your identities. And we want to make sure that doesn't hold you back from still diversifying your potential sponsors and advocates if you don't see that representation. So if you can't find that senior level or executive mentor or sponsor that looks like you, that represents your roots, you can still find multiple ones in other spaces. You can still create community that empowers you. You can still nurture impactful relationships and be successful in your career. And I encourage you to stay at it to keep at it and find those people that believe in you and that you believe in and have that aligned energy as well. And number four, just ask. <laughs> Shoot your shot. In the um, duck, I think Claire, Claire helped build the brand guide based on this workshop. Thank you, Claire, for that resource. And I know in one of the scripts, she just put, will you be my sponsor? That's one of the scripts. <laughs> <laughs> just ask. We're going to have much more detailed templates in here and in the resource, but we want you to reach out to your prospects online or in real life, ask for an informational chat or make the big ask directly. It's a numbers game. Create as many new opportunities as possible and be clear and transparent when you ask. These are the things I want to achieve. This is the time frame I want to do it by. This is what I hope to share with you too. This is my hope and expectation of this relationship. So some templates we have here are, I'm working on get this project, getting this project, and you have some incredible knowledge on this. I saw your work after reading through your recent LinkedIn post on this subject matter. 
would you be open to helping me and mentoring me through that process? I admire your accomplishments as a manager in this space. Would you help me succeed in my career by sponsoring me? Would you be my mentor? And y'all collect the notes. I want to encourage you to collect notes and trust the process. If there's anybody here, it's all good that is saying, I'm scared of rejection. We have had clients who waited a whole month in our program working with us to finally ask even their closest friends for support. Think about your mental barriers. We call them inner haters, the people pleasers, the perfectionists, the victim mindset, the angry mindset that I shouldn't have to advocate for all of this, right? Set it aside and be honest. Am I acting from this fear? Am I acting from this worry? And is it stopping me from getting the help we need? I need. As a leader, let me tell you, we always say this with every single client. Being able to ask for help and receive help. I know that's hard for women. I know that's hard but for BIPOC folks and children of immigrants or immigrants themselves. But being able to ask for and receive help is one of the biggest leadership skills are some of the biggest leadership skills you can flex and practice today. It is critical. Again, we are community made, not self-made. We do not career. We do not leader alone. I'm making terms up now. <laughs> but leadership skills, again, start self-advocating. And celebrate your courage and vulnerability and grit to do this, especially those in the chat who are saying, I'm committing to all of this today. <laughs> um, regulate your activations and set aside those fears and start collecting no's because it's a numbers game and you will get closer to your next yes. We always say when Claire and I actually get a solid no for even big corporate proposals that we put out there for custom bespoke leadership programs, or we get pushback, or they say, hey, this is out of budget, etc. We go, yes. Now we get to get closer to the yes and ask, okay, what would make it possible? What else is possible? Who else can you refer us to? Who else do we need to talk to? What else do you need to see from us? Right? So collect the no's. And again, mindset practices. We care about mindset. Curiosity over judgment. So we explained this yesterday in yesterday's session. What that means is set aside any judgment on yourself, on the person, on the situation, on the company, whatever comes up for you and lean into curiosity. What do I need to do here? What's possible? Why do I want this? Who else can help me? And progress over perfection. As long as you're moving forward, you don't have to be perfect to get the best sponsor and mentor for you. And Build your brand village as big as you want. Right? It doesn't need to stop at just one new person. And celebrate yourself every step of the way. We are not celebrated enough in our industry and in this world. So it's up to you to say, I'm celebrating even showing up to this workshop today because I was willing to invest this time and energy in myself for something more, something that I'm moving towards. And that's worth celebrating, y'all. So how to design successful relationships when you actually got it. This is where someone who was asking, um, what do I have to offer back for that two-way street? This is your section. How to be a great mentee or patron. Clearly articulate your goals and needs. Have an agenda for your meetings. Ask curious questions, take notes, and create feedback loops. We went into that in big detail yesterday for the feedback loops for your um performance reviews. I know, again, Women in Product will have all the recordings for these types of sessions eventually. So look out for that. And do what they ask you to do early and report back. Don't say, yeah, I'll do that and wait three months. I did that once. They did not reply back to me afterwards. I felt really embarrassed and ashamed. And I get it. I get why they didn't reply back to me. And I'm owning my part in that. So do what they ask you to do as early as possible and report back. And how to build trust and deepen connection with them. They are humans too, that have needs too, that are awesome people too, just like you. Get to know them. Get to know their personal preferences, their families, their pets, their lifestyle, their goals. See where you fit in the equation. See where you can uplift them and help them. And Vegas rules, if they share something deeply personal with you to help guide you, to share with you what they did, keep what they share confidential, just like here. Celebrate and hype them up publicly. Advocate for their brand. 
support their decisions and work. I am always hyping other people up, our clients, our team, Claire, my peer mentors, my other mentors and sponsors. Any chance I get, I say, that person is awesome. Hell yeah. Um, Kalia. Kalia Aragon was one of the speakers today at 10 a.m. around product and privacy. I was hyping her up in the chat and saying, yes, Kalia, yes. So make sure you reciprocate that energy and celebrate them publicly. Remember, you have amazing value to share too. You're responsible for achieving in that new role that they help you get or that new role they guided you towards or that new project, et cetera, or achieving and building a great connection in the network they shared with you and getting positive results. They are not. That's you. So even you showing up and doing your best with whatever they pass off to you, regardless of how it goes, that is equal energy exchange enough for many great mentors and sponsors out there. Your growth supports the business and company brand, especially for the mentors and sponsors internally in your same organization. That's a win. Who doesn't want that for their mentees and their patrons to, to do for them? And they also get bragging rights for investing in you. This helps their brand too. They can learn from your unique perspective, talent, and experience too. You have so much value and expertise to offer. I can't tell you how many of my mentors and sponsors said, I just need some insight into your level of the organization. Are people trying to leave right now? And I was like, yes, of course, here's why. Here's what you can do better. Here's what the leadership team can do better. So feeding them information that actually supports systemic change that supports cultural change that's necessary, you have a unique perspective to share too. Best practices, checking quarterly or monthly or whatever cadence y'all decide to work on together, assess communication, feedback loops, and progress together, make adjustments and redesign the relationship as needed. To design your expectations and boundaries, know that you get to have them too. You're always at choice at your career path and life. What I mean by that is we had, um, I had a one-on-one -on -one client that once was so scared of taking a demoted role from director of DEI because she just had a traumatic, unfortunately, um, second pregnancy. Um, and every single per and she just needed a break. It was the pandemic. It was so hard. Every single one of her mentors and sponsors told her, you would be a fool to take this. Um, don't downgrade. Don't set yourself back. But as we coached together, we had multiple sessions together. I had been coaching with her for almost two years at that point. I had to tell her, you are at choice. I'm not going to tell you what to do. There's something in you saying that you don't want to listen to them. So what is it? Right? Don't ever let your mentors or sponsors tell you what is, and they should respect your boundaries too. Be honest about timelines, setbacks, delays, and changes. Be mindful and share new information with your brand guides. Name any shifts in energy, commitment level, and dynamics so that they can know where you're at, you can know where they're at. Integrate your learnings into actions. Make sure you ask for feedback and advice on how to achieve your goals. Seek opportunities to learn the soft and hard skills you need and demonstrate and practice any new skills, behaviors, and learnings. So this is the design your feedback loop. Any Feedback you get or give, make sure you turn it into advice that is tied to your growth. Design and plan check-ins, implement it, go back and say, this is what I learned. This is what I need. This is where I failed. This is how I grew. This is how I succeeded. And then we start that loop over again. And when you do this, create a line communication, say it, hear it, understand it, and Audit for understanding. If no one, if someone is not on the same page, if there's room for misinterpretation, if there's a disconnect between what's said and how it's received, you go back to this. And let your brand be coachable, flexible for guides. Coaches like us can be part of your mentors and maybe even your sponsorship. But be open and coachable to how others see you different than you see yourself. Be open to feedback, be curious about course corrections and what you need to do to change your actions and behaviors. Be honest about the challenges you face and do the work, meaning whatever class they're giving you, do the lessons and rise to the occasion. 
And remember, y'all, if you are in a position to be a mentor and sponsor yourself, lift as you go and pay it forward. Abundance over scarcity. We need more of us at the top. We need more of us to ascend and be in leadership and executive roles and the C-suite. So know that there is enough for all of us to go around. Unfortunately, many people, even yesterday's session, have said that women are the one who tear them down, other women, sometimes even more than non-women and femmes. So know that there's enough of us. There is enough abundance for us. And give a hand, not a handout, right? For anybody who's thinking, I had to do this on my own, <laughs> right? Like, I'm not giving a handout. This is giving a hand up. Create space for all of us in the village to thrive. Practice intentional community care and growth. So recognize the need for BIPOC women and historically marginalized people to be sponsored. Notice who isn't in the room and in leadership. Create equal access to senior levels, mentors, sponsors, and roles if you have the ability to. And believe us, when we share our unique values, our unique challenges, our unique blocks. So take action today. What's one thing you can do to support BIPOC women and other marginalized people with mentorship, sponsorship, and their career growth today? And what's one thing you can do for yourself to secure your next mentor and sponsor or deepen your relationship with an existing one today? And as Claire has been sharing, we have a freebie you can download. Please connect with us. Our link tree has all of our LinkedIn connections. Um, we want to stay in community with y'all. We love Women in Product. Please consider bringing workshops like this and many more to your company and join our next cohort. If you're a BIPOC woman and femme leader looking to take up all the space and activate your voice and speak your mind, speak your leadership into existence um, at realyouleadership.com forward slash coaching. Our next cohort is in June. A little more receipts. Dorothy negotiated a 73% increase in pay into a director level role as well and got back pay and said, I speak up for myself more now at work and know that I can operate from a place of calm and power because I trust myself. Shantae learned to show up authentically and help her team feel more comfortable to do the same and be as real and authentic as they are and not need to conform. Kalia, who we mentioned, who is a woman in product community member, leader, did her workshop today, got while working with me, and now she's a director of product, a 20% salary increase promotion and new values aligned job. And her ability to lead had grown. And part of being a good leader, she realized in our work together is honoring her boundaries and helping others honor theirs. So when we advocate for ourselves, again, there were plenty of pieces here around boundaries. That's part of it. So that we could live our best most safest, most healthiest, and wellness-centered lives in our careers. And let's stay connected, y'all. I'm excited to get to the Q&A. I know we're at time. Yesterday, we went over 40 minutes. <laughs> Hopefully, Claire, if there's any Q&A in the chat, you've been able to help with some of them. But let me know what's here. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, to the basically 70 people here that have been here and that I saw at the max. Thank you for sharing space with us. Thank you for holding space with us. To let you know if anybody comes in, we cannot stop this recording. This ship is sailing without us. This was recording before we even stepped into the hop-in room. Yeah. So confidentiality is you could send an anonymous question if you're not comfortable going on stage with us and speaking about your current situation.